today's video, we'll be learning how to add subtitling like our favorite YouTubers. By adding this to your tool belt, you'll be 10 steps closer to the YouTuber lifestyle you desire. YouTubers like MrBeast, PhaseRug, and many more have implemented the use of subtitling. This not only adds a sense of motion or something happening on screen, but it also helps our hard of hearing viewers. These are the four steps we need to follow to accomplish subtitling. We're going to base our subtitling on MrBeast for this demonstration. If you've watched any of his videos, you notice the subtitling that he uses. First, we need to get the video that we want to transcribe. Luckily, Premiere Pro has a pretty awesome auto transcribe feature. And as you can see, I have Mr. Lugwood here. And let's just watch the video. Here's the question we're going to answer today. Can I, an average gamer, pretty quick, pretty fast paced, it meets criteria, but I'm going to add some titles and see if we can boost the interaction a little bit. Press X on your keyboard, which will bring up your mark clip tool. So we just need to adjust our in to out points. Once we adjust the in to out points of the desired portion of our video, we can move on to creating the automated captions. Now, if you don't have this little section over here, this text tab, let's say we close it out on accident. All you need to do is come up to this window tab and press text, and then you can drag it wherever you want it. Now that window has popped up, we just need to hit create captions. And for me, I have my audio track and audio track one usually if you have your audio or your voices on audio track two then go ahead and hit audio track two and i'm going to hit transcribe into outpoint only the main reason i'm showing you how to do this because for me i don't usually transcribe the entirety of the video i need a, a little portion so this is why i'm showing you guys this way after that we just need to hit transcribe and let it process your captions will take a second or two depending on how long the clip was now that it's completed we need to make our transcript right over here visible so the way to do this, all you got to do is hit these three little dots up here and then hit create captions. We're going to get this little text box and we're going to put this drop down. If you don't have that strapped down, you might have an older version of Premiere Pro, but it should still work. Then to save yourself some time, you can just copy what I have on screen and you can test what works for you. This usually works for me. And then we're going to hit create captions. Now that we have our text on screen, we now need to go through and correct any phrases or words that are wrong or remove any punctuations that we do not want. Now that we've validated our text on screen, now we need to animate it. And as many of you know, there is no way to animate the captioning section because it's not a graphic title. So first things first, before we get to the animation portion, we need to convert it to a graphic title. Highlight the entire captions, go up to the menu bar and select graphics and titles. Now just select upgrade captions to graphics and literally that's all you need to do in order to convert it. Now we just need to add our design. And just so I don't bore you guys, you can go ahead and copy what I have here. Once you have your text style, you can watch how I use keyframes in any of my other videos, but for simplicity, I'll be using the one for my website, which you can get for free by using the code FREEPACK15 on checkout. This promotion works for the first 15 people that use the code, so stop by right after the video. The link's in the description. Let's go ahead and give it a watch with no animations and just proper subtitling. Here's the question we're going to answer today. Can I, an average gamer, make the video a little bit better, but let's animate it. Once you've downloaded the pack, simply highlight the entire text graphics and drag and drop the desired animation you'd like to use. And this is the exact one in a Mr. Beast video. Here's the question we're going to answer today. Here's a few things that you'll get with my animated text preset pack. The rotate pop-up. Can I, an average gamer, or we can do the slide up. Here's the question we're going to answer today. Can I, all this can work hand in hand. So let's say you wanted one of them being slide up and then the rest being pop ups. Here's the question we're going to answer today. Can I, an average gamer, and that's how you do it. If you want to know how to keyframe and create presets, go ahead and watch this next video.